Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video here. Today we'll be talking about a new topic, which is about a very cool hominid called Paranthropus Ethiopians. So, this hominid, by my terms, is considered the million-year-old strongman. And after this presentation, I hope you understand why I call this remarkable hominid by this name. So after researching a lot, I found out that after many years of researchers researching, scientists have been able to piece together many facts about this remarkable hominid, hominid through many types of small fossils that they have pieced together into one larger structure. So how exactly did this hominid be discovered? Well, it was first proposed when a toothless mandible was found in Africa. If you're wondering what is a mandible, it's basically this bone here. It's basically the jawbone, and it didn't have any teeth because it's toothless. But this was first dismissed by many scientists. But after many, after many different types of fossils have been found, scientists have start to think that they might be wrong. There might be a new species out there that doesn't resemble the rest. And this is how they clearly found out. Because this hominid was not really like anything of its kind. Well, this hominid was pretty strange looking. It looked more like an ape than a human. It was very robust, uh, very strong. It had a very pronounced jaw, which we don't have, thick skull, with a small brain case, which makes it kind of stupid. And then a large ridge on its skull, which suggests very powerful chewing muscles. And about chewing, we'll get to that later. So this hominid looked a lot like a gorilla and an ape and kind of a human mixed together. So it was not a very good representation of a human-like being. So where exactly did this hominid live? Well, it lived in uh, to Africa, around Kenya and Ethiopia. So that's basically around here. So this is the place it was found, and it got its name from it. So Paranthropus ethiopius is from Ethiopia. So that's why it's called that has the Ethiopicus behind it. Next, where, how old were they? Well, using many types of dating functions like carbon dating and others, scientists have found out it was around 2.5 to 2.7 million years ago. That is super old. And now you probably understand the million year old the idea of the million year old straw man so unfortunately everything has a downside despite being super super strong with powerful muscles to flex in front of humans this hominid was not the best at making tools all the tools they made were basically sharpened rocks and sticks Unfortunately, they did not use fires because the, the oldest fire datings were nowhere near 2 million years old. And the, they developed very strong body strength because they were kind of stupid. So they used the body strength to do most tasks other than their mind. So what exactly did they eat? What was their diet? So they ate many fruits and hard nuts. So this is a type of wild nut. If you were to go like uh, change it a bit, like its shape, probably its color a bit, then you'll probably get an ancient nut. So nuts have been along for a long time. And due to those like giant molars on the Paranthropus ethiopicus' skull, Scientists suggest that they have used like they had a vegetarian diet, so that involves like 
other things like tubers, which are kind of like potatoes and stuff, and also like some roots and vegetables. So that's basically what they ate. Now, for the first fun fact, I want to tell you that the Paranthropus ethiopicus is not to be uh not to be underestimated for its body strength. It's around 1.5 to 2 times stronger than a human. Not only in many tasks like arm wrestling or grasping things, it's also stronger in climbing and even bites. And that's why it had those massive chewing muscles and that ridge on its skull. The ridge on the skull suggests strong chewing muscles, which then leads to it being a very str strong biter and also a vegetarian. Because veg like plants have a lot of fibers, especially stuff like tubers, and the they need very strong muscles in order to chew them. So, the well-known black skull, it's very famous. It's basically like this skull that's black-colored. Not many fossils are black. And that's really what the Paranthropus ethiopicus is known by, the black skull. And who exactly discovered it? It's Alan Walker. He's a very famous paleontologist, and he discovered this black skull while in Africa. Well, the second fun fact, so if you're wondering what exactly is the Paranthropus ethiopicus' skull uh, made of, it's actually not bone. It's not the calcium and the proteins that make up the bones that we have today. It's been replaced with minerals, and that's basically what a fossil is. So... The strange part of this fossil is that it's not normally like a brown color, but it's a black color. So that shows that a mineral called phosphate has replaced the bone. So it's taken the uh, calcium and the proteins have like deteriorated, and then it's now replaced with m minerals. So what you're holding is actually not an uh, actual bone, it's just some rocks stuck together into to form this shape and not exactly resemble its color. So that's basically what a fossil is. So thanks for watching today and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, this Paranthropus ethiopicus is even trying to say thanks in a really strange way but please subscribe and also thanks for watching today.